Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. Let's talk about hiccups. Now we've all had them, but why do we have them? Okay, so first thing, let's talk about some anatomy and physiology of hiccups. When you hiccup, something important's happening. The diaphragm, which is the muscle that sits underneath your lungs, it contracts and pulls downwards. When it contracts and pulls down, it actually stretches open the lungs and this forces air into our airways. Now within 35 milliseconds of this happening, our airways close off, specifically a part called the glottis. This is near our vocal cords, and it closes off, and the air that comes in hits these closed vocal cords, and we get that typical <gasps> hiccuping sound. Now, why is this happening? All right, a couple of things. First thing is that the nerve that stimulates the diaphragm to contract and pull down is called the phrenic nerve. This comes out of our neck. And you can see it's this wet red one here, comes down, tells the diaphragm to contract. The other thing is that there's a nerve called the vagus nerve. Now the vagus nerve comes out of our brain stem, and what it does is it travels down and it speaks to our vocal cords, it speaks to our esophagus, and it speaks to our stomach. It tells it to contract and do things. It also receives signals, receives information from the stomach, esophagus, and vocal cords, and sends it back to the brain stem. All right, now when we hiccup, there's a reflex arc that's happening. Now it seems that some irritation either at the stomach, at the esophagus, or within this area, stimulates signals of the vagus nerve to be sent to the brainstem. This then triggers the hiccup center within the brainstem and sends outward signals via the vagus nerve and the phrenic nerve to tell the diaphragm to contract, bring air in, then close off the glottis. Now the question is, why do we do this? Well, there's a couple of theories. One theory is that we tend to hiccup more often in utero. So when we're in the womb, usually within trimester one and trimester two, and it slowly starts to decrease, why do we hiccup in the womb? Well, we think that it may be because we're practicing how to use our diaphragm for breathing. Remember, we don't breathe when we're inside the womb because it's all liquid. We get that oxygen from the placenta. So the bub is practicing using its diaphragm. That's one theory. Second theory is that it's potentially a mechanism to get trapped air out of the stomach. Because when you hiccup, you have this very sharp decrease in pressure in the thoracic cavity, and what that does is tends to force out air in the stomach, or maybe air trapped in the esophagus, pushing it outwards. That's another theory. Another theory is that it's an evolutionary throwback. We don't actually use it for anything useful anymore, but it's to practice using our gills when we used to have gills many millions of years ago. And so it was a way of sending signals to the brain and back, practicing how to use the gills. Now the question is, how do we get rid of hiccups? Now in the short term, which is where most of us have hiccups, within you know less than 24 hours basically, there are effective ways to get rid of it. It's called vagal stimulation, vagal techniques. What we want to do is stimulate the vagus nerve to send outward signals away from the brainstem. Okay, a couple ways. One is that you can do the Valsalva maneuver. The Valsalva maneuver is where you try and forcefully push air out of your airways, but you close your glottis, close your airways, and air can't come out. So think about maybe when you're in the bathroom trying to do a poo, that sort of pushing feeling where you tense everything up, but don't let any air escape. That's the Valsalva maneuver. There's another one called the carotid sinus massage, the carotid artery, sends blood to your brain and massage of the carotid sinus tends to stimulate outward flow of the vagus. I do not recommend this. I do not recommend it because massaging the carotid sinus may release some blocked up plaques present and this can result in stroke, so do not do it. Third way is by dunking your head into ice cold water and eliciting the diver's reflex. So if you ever jumped into cold water and you get that feeling, that also stimulates outward flow from the vagus nerve. Why? Because it tells the heart to slow down, also tells the blood vessels in your periphery to constrict and it redirects that blood to your heart, to your brain, because it's worried that you're going to die within that water. So all of these are effective methods to stimulate the vagus nerve and to stop hiccups.